Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to another episode of Banished. In today's episode, we are going to be progressing a little bit further. We've got some stuff built up. I've done a little bit of work between episodes, uh, basically just chopped down a whole bunch of trees and got some apples and made some more bread. Nothing, nothing too spectacular. Didn't even journey outside of this like little area right here, actually. <laughs> but uh, we do have some quests and things that we can turn in. And I noticed we've got some pretty cool stuff up here, too. So let's just take a look. Wondrous Gems. Okay, so if we get a sword and a pickaxe, we'll get some cool stuff. But we also have the option to pick one of these two gems. The Chaos Onyx or the Chaos Topaz. And they each give you different benefits. This one gives you strength, haste, and resistance. And this one gives you speed to, jump to, and night vision. I'm going to go for that one um, simply because night vision is really going to be a useful thing since, you know, this is YouTube and YouTube makes everything dark. So let's just take a look. How does this work? Okay, it drains. Does it recharge? It does. Okay. Okay, cool. So it's basically just an item that I can have equipped that will do some nifty stuff for us. All right. That's not too bad. I think it is time, however, to journey out into the wild unknown and see what we can find. So let's grab... There's my charcoal or my normal coal, I should say. Let's make a bunch of torches, and let's head on out and see if we can find anything that's worth our time. Before we go, though, let's also pick up a couple new spells. Let's go back to Dark Power, and I would really like to get, hmm, Obsidian. Wow, that gives you 20 Obsidian. That's that's a lot. Um, Let's do the... Let's do magnetism, more because I'm interested in seeing uh, what kind of spells that will unlock. Here we go. Windwall Healing Aura. That sounds really useful. That sounds really useful. 20 Dark Power. Okay. So instant healing, and then this shield. Ignore small hits and bruises, and that's minus 10. Okay. How are we doing for reputation altogether? We've got 21, so I could actually do either one of those and go a defensive route. Or... Hmm... Maybe what we'll do is we'll just hold on to our mana for now. Or maybe this magic beam. The magic beam's actually pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, let's do the magic beam. That's a pretty sweet spell that you get. And then we can put our Rock Blast away. Take the Magic Beam. Magnetism I don't really need. Um, and I think that's pretty good. Um, let's actually take... We'll put you up there. And I'm actually going to bring out my Diamond Sword instead. And I just realized I do have a couple arrows. So let's actually make a bow while we're here before we journey out. I don't see any reason not to. Oh, there we go. So we'll just do that. There we go. Should be set now. And we'll put this stuff back. And I'll take half a stack of wood with me as well. Ooh, the grow spell we want to leave in here. I uh, don't really want to be taking that with us. I hear a spider. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, let's just head up kind of the way that we were up before, or maybe we'll head... Just kidding. Let's head down. And let's try out our new spell. Nice. That works really well. I like it. I like it a lot. We'll claim our reward. That is not too bad. Um... You know what? I should check and see if I have enough... St 
string. Uh, not quite. If I get three more string, then I'll have enough to make a bed. Um, cause I'll need to, I'll need to turn that probably into wool and then I can make a bed and just set my spawn there at our little area that we have kind of set up now. So let's see, let's go up this way. I'll keep my magic beam out. And anything? Any bad guys? No? I'm going to get rid of that. I don't need that. Maybe we, you know what I should do is I should waypoint this real quick. New, I'll just call it staircase. That way I can find it <laughs> when I, after I've been out adventuring for a little while. That's probably a good idea. Let's just kind of work our way down here. We're on the lookout for iron and whatever other ores we can find as well. Uh, that does some pretty decent damage. There's all sorts of nasty things down there. Creeper's dead. Oh, oh, wither skeleton. Oh, that was, that was an unfortunate turn of events. We might be okay though. Um, let's get that. Claim. I'm just wanting to increase that. Well, we can. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, another a, a cavanic skeleton, whatever that is. Okay, well, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. And I also won't complain about this extra iron. Was that a creeper? What in the world? I have no idea what that was, but it definitely made a creeper noise and then it exploded. So we're just going to go the other way. That is the plan. Lots of coal, but I don't really need coal. I need ores and crystals and things. And there's some sort of nasty bat critter flying around over there. I heard it. Hmm. All right, let's take a minute real quick and claim that reward. A little low on hunger. Anything over here? I'm guessing there'll be something over here. I mean, this is a big area. Look at this. This place is huge. Where am I getting shot at from? Oh, I found you. Do you remember back in episode one when I was talking about how as you progress in the mod, you become more powerful and the mod pack becomes considerably easier? That's absolutely true. Like this creeper right here. Whoa. I'm thinking it might be time to go. In fact, I'm quite sure that it's time to go. I can't hit him from here, I don't think. Hmm. There he is. Does he teleport? That's a dirty trick. If he can teleport, that's, that's cheap. I want to be able to teleport. I will, however, claim my dark power. There we go. Good thing I claimed it when I did. This guy's right there, up on top of me, up in my grill. That's okay. All right, let's get out of here. I think it's time to head back, if I can remember how I got here anyway. Um, I think it was kind of where that creeper exploded. Oh, maybe over here? This is... This is definitely... I know I haven't been here before. I haven't been into a Mesa biome. What is that? Jousting champion. Hmm. Okay. 
A joust, maybe? I think it was called a joust. I don't know. I didn't really get a good look at it. Um, that's not the way out, that's for sure. Actually, I waypointed the staircase, didn't I? I did that for a reason. I remember. Let's put that down. Okay. So this area should be relatively well lit up now. Um, it's too bad that I didn't really find any good ores other than a little bit of iron. But... I also didn't die, and I am out of food, so I think it's time to return back. Uh, let me head down there, kind of take inventory of what we got, and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, I am back. So... I want to try, I want to see if we can do this dispenser. Do I have any redstone? I have a redstone torch. Hmm. Let's just look up the recipe for red st for a dispenser. I'm pretty sure I got a bow. So I need one piece of redstone. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can find ourselves one piece of redstone. I'm going to do a little bit of digging. A little bit of mining here, guys. And uh, I will be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back. And the bad news is I didn't really find anything mining. The good news is I found a carrot. And that will be a great food source for us. So we're going to grow these carrots and uh, try and kind of build up a nice supply. Then that should really help us out in a lot of ways. So, let's see. There we go. Now we're really finally getting something where with, somewhere with food. It took long enough. Let's do that. A little bit of that. Yeah. Also, my magic has leveled up a couple of times. I think it's primarily due to just the mining and the growing and just the kind of grindy stuff, if you will. I think that's probably the main reason for it, but I'm certainly not going to complain about it. You can see that when I level up, I get a little, or when I, whenever I use a spell, I grow a little bit experience-wise from it, um, and I, I'm pretty sure that's where the majority of my... Uh, my stuff is coming from. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the wheat altogether. And we'll just go straight carrots for now. I think that's fine. Just got a little little bit of a crop planted over here. That's all good. There we go. Put you guys back. And uh, we're just going to let that grow for a bit. Um, although I am going to need a little bit more to take with me. So let's do... Wow, that was a lot. There we go. Not too bad. We got eight carrots. Uh, I'm just going to keep it this for a little while, guys, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got a pretty good amount of carrots. This is all carrots planted. Uh, I think we're good. I did forget to mention, we found some emeralds while I was out and about uh, doing the doing the grindy mining and stuff and things so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back down there uh, I did eventually end in a cave or at least what appeared to be kind of a cave and I want to make sure that uh, we explore it a little bit so let's head on down here there's probably gonna be some nasty things waiting for us so I'm gonna get the sword ready and we're going to take a look. That is endstone. That is without a doubt endstone. Okay. Can I... Hmm. Let's just do this. Let's make a little pathway there. I do want to get this iron. Well, I think that iron was lost to the, uh, the lava. Maybe not. Nope. It fell somewhere where I could reach it. Okay. And we'll put another iron block there. And then we'll just build a little staircase like that. The end stone kind of scares me a little bit. It makes me think that there's going to be some, like, 
crazy sort of Enderman stuff. I I don't really know. Um, but we'll we'll peek. We'll peek. We'll look around. It definitely goes down for a ways. That's for sure. Hmm. That's down quite a ways. Let's see if we can get down there in such a way. Yeah, this will work. Let's throw a torch there. Throw a torch here. Gravel? Do I have any use for gravel? Not that I can think of. There's some lapis, though. And there's some sort of nasty something. Dead now. I think that was like a flaming zombie. Yep, it was a zombie of some sort. Let's see. I will take the lapis. I will take the air gems. I will definitely take the iron. What else we got over here? Anything cool? And the thing is, at any moment, something could pop out and try and kill us. So we gotta be careful. Ooh! Hello, mob spawner. Is that a silverfish spawner? It is. We found a silver uh, silverfish spawner. That's interesting. Mana steel, thaumium. Ooh, we found some good stuff. Yeah, we actually found some really good stuff. Let's do this. Let's take those chests. I'm gonna just leave that lit up. And actually, let's mark that. Uh, new silverfish spawner. Save. And we'll just hide it for now because I don't really need it. Um, let's head off. Ooh, hello, nasty thing. Got him. And that should give us a... Yep, we can claim that. We've got to be doing pretty good on reputation right now. 27. Okay, that's not bad. We're definitely getting pretty close to where we can get another spell or two. If that's what we want to spend it on. We could spend it on some other things too, like sugarcane. Um, which might be worth our time. I think I'll take this topaz. And let's just put a torch down there. Grab that last piece of coal. Grab that. Something's squealing like crazy, and I don't like it, but that's whatever. I'm not super... I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, that's... This guy needs to go. Alright, I wasn't going to use the sword, but... I don't know if he's affected by the beam. It seemed like I hit him with the beam. Maybe he just missed his hitbox or something. I don't know. I tried. But I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. And there was some really shiny, colorful stuff somewhere. I saw it a minute ago. I'm not sure where it went, though. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just light this up as best we can. Oh, more topaz. I take you. I take... I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to take it. Oh! And that thing. Got him. Chupacabra. Another source of experience, essentially. And I'm, I'm calling it experience, but really it's um, reputation. Anyway, I'm going to do a little more caving, guys, and I'll be back with you in a moment. All right, guys, I am back, and uh, I think we might just die right here. Oh, maybe not. There is a big nasty thing in our way of getting home. Oh, and now I'm going to die. Now I'm going to die for sure. Yep. Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. But, what we can do is we can make our way back. Um, I'll have to... Ooh. I hope we can make our way back. I may have derped that up. Come on. Break. 
break. There we go. Okay, so that didn't go quite as planned, but I that is one that I definitely need to go get. So let's let's just kind of load up on some stuff here. Um, just grab a couple things. Unfortunately, I don't have. Oh, I I totally forgot. Uh, we will take the conjure water though. That might actually come in handy, because basically the problem was that I was on fire. But, they're basically at the very bottom of the stairs, so I'm going to head down that way and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, I am back, and we are here, and there's one, dead, where's that other big nasty guy, maybe he's gone, not, th I, not that I would complain about that, trust me, I assure you that would be fine. Um, cobblestone don't need, creeper heads, saddle, wheat, armor I need. Let's equip all of our armor. Is that everything? Almost everything. Um, what, what do I not need right now? I don't need... I don't need the... I don't need the zombie flesh. We can, we don't, we can live without that. Uh, but I got the redstone. Oh, and there's our real problem right there. Oh, and I'm on fire. Yeah, this whole fire thing works pretty well. Okay. Let's see if we can magic beam him to death from here. This is the guy, that guy we'd already messed with. Back in the water. Hey, ugly. I don't think I can get this guy from here. Yeah. No way. Him, maybe. Maybe? Maybe not. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think the best course of action here is to just head back up and... Oh, there we go. We got him. He's dead. Alright. Looks like I got away clean, guys. I'm gonna head back up, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Alright, guys. I am back. And... We now have everything we need to make a dispenser. Why do we want a dispenser? Well, as part of our book, we've got a quest. Oh, I can claim those again. Let's just do that real quick. Anyway, as part of our survival quest line, we've got this. I also need to make a fence, which should just be, since this is 1710, that should just be sticks like that. There we go. And then we can claim our reward, which gives us five more dispensers and then some fancy books and stuff as well. So, golem manual. Okay, so snow golem. Okay, melon golem. Okay. Stone golem. Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins. That stuff all requires pumpkins. Okay, turret golem. Ooh, dispenser, fence, cobblestone. So, we're going to try this out. If I put cobblestone there, and say cobblestone here, and then I put... Oh, that is awesome! These will apparently attack enemies for you. Nice. We've got some defenses, guys, to help weather the storm of mobs that seems to come at us every now and again. That is awesome. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.